Keeping trains running smoothly and on time is always a challenge, especially so in the face of hazards such as lightning and switching over voltages. Over voltages can damage important devices that control train movement, causing delays and stoppages. They cause costly downtime and can even impact safety. Surge arresters from Hitachi Energy protect railway electrical installations from over voltage. They are also found inside the locomotive where they protect its traction system. Hitachi Energy has more than 75 years of experience in designing and manufacturing surge arresters. The surge arresters are based on the latest technology for metal oxide varistors. Hitachi Energy's proprietary R&D for blocks and components, the sintering of zinc oxide varistor blocks, and testing of individual blocks are all carried out in a single Hitachi Energy facility to ensure full control of quality from start to finish. Arrestor stacks are assembled and directly molded in silicone in a state-of-the-art, cost-efficient process to produce a durable and robust protective surface. The finished surge arresters are then individually checked by hand and also tested electrically. All of the processes naturally comply with the International Railway Industry Standard. They are also tested for wind speed, shock and vibrations, and short circuit proof and are non-flammable too. Hitachi Energy's portfolio of surge arresters covers all line discharge classes according to IEC and IEEE for AC and DC traction solutions. From North America to Australia, India and China to the Middle East and Europe, in heavy freight trains, high speed trains, tramways and underground rail networks, Hitachi Energy surge arresters enable the reliable operation of all kinds of railway applications in every climate zone and environment imaginable, and at the highest railway station in Europe and Switzerland's most popular tourist destination, the Jungfrau Jahr, Hitachi Energy's surge arresters are hard at work protecting the rail networks, ensuring everyone gets to their destination, even to the top of Europe's highest mountain at 3,500 meters, and of course, safely back down again.